Hi and welcome to Yoga with Marcella. In today's video I'm going to do a beginner's flow with you all. So you can do this at home or if you have a studio you can go to, you can do it there as well. So when you're ready we're going to start by sitting on our mat in Sukhasana, which is a comfortable seated position with your legs crossed. So we're going to start by focusing on our breathing. Breathing is a vital part of any yoga sequence that you do, especially in vinyasa flow. So we're going to start by placing the palms facing upwards on top of the thighs. And then just close your eyes and just take a moment to notice how the body feels. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose. And then hold for three, two, one, and exhale through the nose. And hold for three, two, one. One. And as the breath becomes more frequent, every inhale you want to feel the belly expanding with air. So really feel like the belly's rising. So if you place one hand on top of your belly, feel like it's expanding. And exhale, push all of the air throughout outside of the nose. And with every inhale, feel the body grow taller. And with every exhale, feel the body get lighter. So you let go of any tension that you're holding on to. And just notice again how the body is feeling right now. Is there anywhere in the body that needs healing? Maybe it needs strengthening? Or just needs to be worked on a little bit? And then when you're ready, slowly blink the eyes open. And we're going to come into a twist to start off the class. Now, twists are really good for a gentle detox of the body. So you're going to take your fingertips out in front of you and inhale, reach up tall. And then exhale as you walk the fingertips over to the right hand side. Inhale, see if you can get a little bit taller. Exhale, can you twist a little bit more? And then walk the hands back round to centre. We're going to take it to the left hand side now. So take it inhale as you reach round to the left. Remember every inhale can you get a little bit taller in the pose and every exhale can you get deeper. And then inhale, walk the hands back to centre. Let's take a soft stretch on each side. So we're going to take the left hand over to the side, so placing the palm onto the mat beside you. As you inhale, reach the right arm up and across the body. So you can deepen this stretch by walking the hands out and then bending the left arm onto the mat. And this is going to increase the stretch down the lateral side. Again, breathe into the pose. And when you're ready, just placing the top hand around the sides of your head. And then gently coming back up to centre, we're going to take that stretch over to the other side now. So I'm going to take my right palm out to the side of me and I'm going to inhale, reaching my left arm up, overhead. I'm just going to take that a little bit deeper. It's important that you listen to your body. So maybe to start with, you'll just be here. And maybe by week three, you could be down to here. And inhale, come in, back up to centre. We're going to come over onto our hands and our knees. So you want your hands to be underneath your shoulders, shoulder width apart, and your knees to be hip distance apart here. And with every inhale, you're going to just gently reach the heart and chest forward. And every exhale, you're going to curl under, create a nice arch in the back. Inhale, heart and chest forward. 
And then exhale, get a nice round in the back. So this cat cow pose that we're doing here is really opening the lower back and it's really good if you have any back problems, if you've recently just had a baby, this is one that I'd recommend that you do every day. And then the next time you come to inhale, we're just going to come back to neutral and draw on the belly button in so that you're switching on the core. You're going to start by reaching the right foot back. I'm gonna just come forward onto my mat a bit more. And the left arm forward. And we're just gonna inhale, and we're gonna reach the arm back in to meet the knee. And then exhale, you're gonna push back out. Inhale, reach in. And then exhale. And we're going to swap sides. So coming back down, this time we're going to reach the right arm forward, the left leg back. And then you're going to inhale, reach the arm to meet the knee. And then exhale, reach forward. And then come back to neutral. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to come into our downward dog position. So if you're not quite sure how to do a downward dog, I have done a video, so just have a look at that video on my page. We're going to place the hands slightly forward in front of you, shoulder width apart. You're going to curl the toes under and you're going to reach the hips back and up into your downward dog. And just take a moment to breathe into this pose. Checking your alignment, making sure that the arms are in the right place, that your hands are pushed into the mat firmly. And just maybe bend one leg and then the other. Doing what feel good, feels good for the body here. And at the end of your next exhale, you're going to step the right foot forward and then the left foot. And we're going to come into our gazing pose. So you're going to inhale and reach the heart and chest forward. Now your hands here can either be on your shins or they can be onto the blocks in front of you. If you've got particularly tight hamstrings, this can be quite painful here to stretch the hamstrings. So come up onto the block if it feels better for you. If you can, then place your hands either side of the feet. And then as you exhale, you're going to hinge from the hips, bringing the chest to the thighs, bowing head to earth. You're going to relax the neck and the shoulders. And then inhale again, reach the heart and chest forward. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, heart and chest forward. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, heart and chest forward. Exhale, fold. And this time when you inhale, you're going to slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Coming into Tadasana. So you want the big ball joints to be together of the feet. You're going to lift all ten toes, spread the toes and plant them firmly into the mat beneath you so that you've got even weight distribution across the feet. You're going to inhale, you're going to draw the belly button in, lift from the sides of the waist. You're going to broaden the collarbones. Biceps are going to be turning to face the front of the room and then palms are going to be facing towards each other. Okay, so from Tadasana, we're going to inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Maybe a slight bend in the back if that's accessible to you. And then exhale, you're going to fold, hinging from the hips. You don't want to hinge around the back from here because that's going to cause a strain in the back. So hinging from the hips, you're going to come all the way down, either onto your blocks or onto the mat. Forward fold, bow and head to earth. 
and then inhale, reach the heart and chest forward. And then exhale, you're gonna step the right foot back, then the left foot back, top of a plank. You're gonna hold here for just a moment for three, two, one, and then you're gonna push back up into your downward dog. So this is the um, Syria A sun salutation. So we're gonna do that a couple more times. So inhale, lift the heels up, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. And take a nice big inhale. And at the bottom of your next exhale, you're just gonna walk the feet back up to the top of the mat to meet your hands. Inhale, heart and chest forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Coming all the way up. Arms up overhead, slight back bend if you can. And then exhale, fold, hinging from the hips. Bow and head to earth. And the weight wants to be, when you're in this forward fold, you want the weight to be at the front of the feet. Inhale, heart and chest forward, keeping the weight at the front of the feet. Exhale, fold and step back. Right leg, left leg, top of a push-up, hold for three, two, one, and then come back up into your downward dog. So we're gonna do that again. So just take an inhale, lift the heels, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. And then just step left foot, then right foot back up to the top of the mat. Inhale, heart and chest forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. You're coming all the way up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, heart and chest forward. And then exhale, step in left foot, then right foot back, top of a push up, and then back into your downward dog. Inhale, rise the heels. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And then just walk the feet back up to the top of the mat. Inhale, heart and chest forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. And then hands to heart, Samasiti. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is come into our standing poses. So feel free to um, come to wall for these poses. I'm gonna show you both options because it'll be slightly easier to help you find your balance. So coming to your wall, you're going to start in Tadasana. So again, making sure that the uh, weight in the feet is evenly distributed across all four corners. You're gonna take a nice deep inhale, lift in the right leg, and then you're going to place that leg, the foot of the leg, sorry, onto your inner thigh or onto your inner calf here, okay? So we're gonna, whichever position you decide to do, we're gonna start to focus on the hips. You don't want your hips to be pointing out to the side, out to here. You want your hip points, your front hip points to be facing forward, directly in front of you, okay? And then you're gonna use your hand, the hand onto the wall for support. And you're gonna inhale and reach the arm, other arm up, coming into your tree. If you can, I'm gonna take this hand away and reach up with both hands coming into a full tree. And you wanna make sure you focus on a dristy point here. So a point in the room that you can concentrate on is called your dristy. So use that point and that's gonna help you to stay balanced in this pose. And then exhale, bring the leg back out in front of you. Flex the foot, think Barbie foot and pause here. And then lower. We're gonna come onto the other side now. So you're going to um, again come to Tadasana and then inhale lift in the left leg and taking the same variation you took on the other side. So whether your foot came to here or your foot came to here, you're going to do the same one. And again, either using the wall for support or not, you're going to inhale, reach the arms up, focusing on your dristi, on your gaze. Making sure that the belly is drawn in, the waist, lift, sides of the waist are lengthened. And breathe here. And then raise the left leg, straighten the leg out in front of you. 
Flex the foot, think Barbie foot. And exhale lower. We're now going to come into um, our chair pose, also known as Utkatasana or fierce pose. So again, we can use a wall or we can do it without a wall. So I'm going to show you both options. You're going to want to keep a block beside you for this. So I'm going to take my block and just hold on to it for now. We're going to start by getting the feet position right. So you want to walk your feet, if you're using all, you want to walk your feet out and you want to think of a wall squat here. So feet about hip distance apart and then just lower it as far as you want to go and we're just going to hold here. You're going to use the arms. You're going to press the palms into the block. You're going to reach the arms out in front of you and again you want to think of drawing the biceps towards the cheeks and you're going to lift your hands to as far as you can go. So you want to be about here. You want to draw that belly button in and you're going to pause. So remember to keep pushing the palms of the hands into the block. And then you're going to come back up. Place the block on the other side. I'm going to show you a full chair pose if you want to try a full chair pose. This time, you're going to place the big ball joints of the feet together. Slight gap in between your heels. And as you inhale, you're going to reach the arms up and lower the sit bones. As if you come to sit on a little chair. And then breathe. So the weight wants to be in the heels here, so you should be able to lift all 10 toes up and still stay steady. So again, remember to pull the belly button in. And then exhale, pushing back up. We're gonna do that again. You can either do it against the wall or you can do it standing in the mat. Big inhale, come down into your chair pose. And then exhale, pushing back up. Okay, and then we're going to just take a little fold against the wall here. So come back onto the wall if you're not there already. Walk the feet out and then just lower. Come down, head to earth. And just let the head hang freely here, swaying from side to side. And then inhale, coming all the way back up. We're going to come into our warrior two pose. If you're unsure on how to do this, um, I have done a video on my page that you can watch which explains it step by step for you, okay? So taking our feet out wide, we're going to start on the right side. So we're going to bend our right leg and point the toes out to the edge of the mat. You're going to inhale, lift the arms. And then take a look over your right fingertips. Just making sure that the feet are correctly aligned here. So remember you want that heel to arch alignment. And then just breathe. Maybe every time you exhale you can get a little bit deeper into that pose. And then at the end of your next exhale you're going to straighten that front leg. So we're going to come into triangle and there's three different variations of triangle that you can come into. So you can either use your block and I'm going to show you all three variations. So the first variation you can do is instead of keeping the leg fully straight and extended, you're going to keep a slight bend in the leg. Very so slightly. You're going to hinge from the hip. So you don't want to bend over from here, you really want to hinge from here. So you're going to inhale and reach the arms up and you're going to hinge forward. And you're going to keep going, keep going, keep going until you can't go any further. And then you're just going to tip over and you're going to press your hand onto your shin. So pushing the shin into your hand and your hand into your shin. You're going to draw the chin to the chest and then look up overhead. So this is the first option for you. The second option is you can bring your hand onto the block and straighten the front leg. Remember the weight wants to be at the front of the feet for here. And then if you want to take it a little bit further and if you can, you're going to bring your fingertips to the mat. Then inhale, come back up. Feet parallel. We're going to come into our warrior two on the other side. So bending the left leg, pointing the toes out. Inhale, reach the arms up. And take five deep breaths here. Mm -hmm. 
And then at the end of your next exhale, we're gonna come into our triangle variation on the other side. So you can choose whichever one you want to take on this side. So I'm gonna come into a full triangle. So I'm gonna extend that front leg, put the weight onto the front of my feet. I'm gonna hinge, I'm hinging from the hips. I'm reaching as far as I can go. And then I'm just going to place my hand down by my foot and reach the back arm up. Remember to draw the belly button in here. Really breathe into the pose. If you tend to hyperextend in the knee here, you want to keep a slight bend in the knee because it's going to cause a bit of damage onto the knee otherwise. Then end of the next exhale, you're going to reach back up, come back into your warrior two, and then just turn the foot out so that your feet are parallel. We're going to take a press of Rita C fold here. So placing your hands to your hips, you're going to inhale, draw the chin to the chest, reach all the way back, and then exhale, hinging from the hips, you're going to fold, and you can either come onto your blocks, or you're going to place your hand down onto the mat in front of you. Bowing head to earth, you should feel a nice deep stretch in the hamstrings here. Inhale, come halfway up. And then exhale, come all the way up. Okay, lovely. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring our feet together, coming back to the top of the mat. So you're going to take a deep inhale, reach the arms up. And then exhale, fold, hinging from the hips, bowing head to earth. Inhale, heart and chest forward into your gazing pose. And then exhale, fold, step in, right foot back, then left foot, top of a push up. And then push back into your downward dog. And we're going to come down into our child's pose. So you want your toes together, knees wide apart. And just bring the sit bones back onto the heels. Arms out in front of you, placing your forehead onto the mat. And take a nice deep breath in here. Walk your left hand over to the right. And again, breathe in here, getting a gentle stretch along the side of the body. And then walking both hands over to the left hand side. Coming back to centre, we're going to come back up to sitting. So you're going to come to sit here and we're going to come into an avasana. You're going to reach the hands and arms forward. You're going to keep your feet planted onto the mat this time and you're going to just slowly roll back. Gently rolling, coming all the way down and pause here and then keep going to lie down onto the mat. So we're going to take a nice um, stretch here. That's what we're going to bring our knees into our chest. Just take a little hug. Gentle rock from side to side. Massage in the lower back. And then you're going to just take your hips over to the right. And then drop your knees down to the left hand side. Create a nice twist here. Coming into our easy twist pose. You're going to reach your arms out either side of you, coming into cactus arms. And then just take a look over your right shoulder. Really breathe in this pose. back to centre. We're going to take that twist over onto the other side, so bring your hips over to the left and then just dropping your knees over to the right and take a look over your left shoulder. Bring the knees back to centre. We're going to come into a gentle hip opener 
and it's called Thread the Needle. So you're going to lift your right foot up and place your right ankle onto your left thigh. Remember to flex your right foot and then you can either just gently press the right leg away from you and you can stay here, this is enough. If you want to take it further, you're going to place your hands and interlace them underneath your left thigh and draw the legs up towards you. And just take a nice deep breath here. Opening the hamstrings here, creating a nice stretch. And then lower, we're going to change sides. This time, taking, lifting your left leg up and placing your left ankle on top of your right thigh. You're going to take the same variation you took on the other side. I'm just breathing into this pose. Placing your feet down. Again, maybe just taking a gentle hug one more time. And then we're going to come into Shavasana. So it's always important to end your sequence, whichever flow you do with a short Shavasana. You're going to come to either knees together, feet wide apart, or legs straight out in front of you. Come into a comfortable position. And then you're going to close your eyes and just focus on your breathing. Focus on softening the breath. Focus on softening the lips, the jaw, the cheeks, the toes, and the fingers. I'm feeling a warmth rise through the entire body, across the collarbone. And just lay here for about a couple of minutes focusing on how the body feels and start to wiggle the fingers and the toes just bringing awareness back to the body when you're ready roll over onto your favorite side just pause here for a moment and then coming back all the way up so sit in keeping the eyes closed bring your hands out either side Inhale, drawing the hands together overhead and bring the hands down to the heart. Namaste.